Your friend's cute. Is she single? A robot. If we weren't in Khan territory, I would kill you where you stand. Caesar will be avenged. Yes, goodbye. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Khans? Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws, so watch your behavior. Until next time. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, Cub? Have you now? Hmm, well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Ha! The Great Khans will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado, and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. You want to hear the story of the Great Khans? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered but we will regain our glory. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Khans came east, out of the NCR 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. Typical. No reference for history in the younger generations. You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the Great Khans. The Khan of Khans, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Farewell. I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the Great Khans, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. Papa can be a stubborn man, 
but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe and to four voices in particular, me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I would too, if I were you. Huh? Greetings in the name of Kaiser. Join? Oh, no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khans. Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is... You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Great Khans, drive Caesar's... Hey! Ah, you're back. Hey, what's up? Huh? Look, kitty cat, me and Diane, we don't dig on that politics stuff, savvy? We just make the product and make it get to a good home. Sure, Caesar's a drag, but as long as we got each other, we don't care who the top dogs roll with. Dude, what a total haul. No way that's Copa Shishi. Yeah, okay. Me and Diane got your back. No sweat. Take it easy, kitty cat.
You won't be able to sit down for a week. Careful if we go off the road. Looks like break time's over. Here we go. Let's start.
That's close enough. What do you want with the Great Khans? Awaiting a delivery, but it's a no-show. I'm guessing that the Death Claws in the quarry have something to do with that. Is that right? What's your angle? Right. All right, here's the deal. I was expecting a shipment of chemicals. It's usually in a suitcase dropped off in one of the big machines up here. Because of the Death Claws, I have to assume the suitcase is still in Sloan. Snoop around the place and get it for me. I wouldn't eat or drink them, but no. They won't explode if you drop them or anything. Don't kill anybody if you don't have to. I'm a scout and I like to keep a low profile. Like what? We're an independent group. We take care of our own and don't take crap from anybody. Especially the NCR. Like what? Don't leave a trail. Morning. What do you want now? You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. What? No, he... What do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Bye. Can't run from me. Need something with more care.
doing is pissing him off. Looks like right now. for you! I can't believe anyone actually made it through from the north, what with all the death claws at the quarry. You returning from New Vegas? Uh, coming from anyone else, I'd say they were drunk or crazy. But that look in your eyes, I believe you. 
I can pay you, but it ain't much for what you pulled off. I'll get on the ham radio first thing and tell people all about you, though. Generator's still not working. Big surprise. You need something? Ah, yes. I think I know which friend you mean. Even if there weren't death claws in the quarry, there'd still be no delivery. The supplier, a guy in Prim named Tyrone, is a cheating son of a bitch who won't deliver even though he's already been paid in advance. He's always been shady, but this is the first time he's outright screwed me. Good luck. With the Deathclaw pack leaders dead, I hope we can get back to work soon. leader's dead. I hope we can get back... Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Ah, yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway, I've got this recipe for a Deathclaw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a Deathclaw egg. Kinda obvious, I suppose. I can't believe you actually got one. Give me a bit to get the recipe set up, then talk to me again. This is incredibly good. Here's your omelet, and the recipe if you ever want to make your own. It takes a bit of skill to get it tasting right. Yeah? My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California, in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least, she did until some stranger came along and killed the Deathclaw. Shot it right in the eye. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Sure thing.
Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Hey, hey, what can Tyrone do for you? You trying to get me busted? Keep your damn voice down. Lieutenant Hayes already has his eye on me. Look, I already told Chomps the NCR is getting suspicious of all these misplaced supplies. Bigger risk means bigger cost. 300 caps bigger. I've reconsidered my position. And I think it would be in my best interest if I were to sacrifice my profit on this particular deal. What? What do you want now? You actually came through for us. I didn't expect that. Anyway, the Great Khans pay their debts and don't forget their friends. If you ever come out to Red Rock Canyon, I'll put in a good word for you. Don't leave a trail. Robot dog? Never seen one of those before. What are you doing here? Let me see. My god, this is even worse than I thought. Okay, you have my support. I'll tell Papa the Alliance is a bad idea. Until next time. All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear you out after all. Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trusted cons. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe deserves better than this, cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Tell me then. If I don't join with Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? Well spoken, Traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. You've helped me see Caesar for what he is, and I thank you for that. But if you suggest that again, I will have your head. If you should ever tire of wandering alone, seek us out. You might just have the makings of a great con yourself. Diane's going nuts trying to find a new contact in the Fiends now that Motor Runner's dead. <laughs> 